It's a 5.7 liter Dodge Charger 2010. I'm going to show you some failures I have here. This car had a misfire cylinder number 5 ignition and fuel ruled out. There was also a knocking noise under higher rev, sounded like a rod knock. Pulled the valve cover off of it and there was some play in the number 5 rocker arm when it was warm. So I figured it could have been one of three things. A loose valve seat that's starting to drop, which is common on these, or, you know, I've seen them before. Another issue was a possible collapse of the lifter. And the third one was a camshaft failure. So after I pulled the head off, pulled the lifter out, this one here, cylinder number five, I've got this. The roller follower is locked up on it, and the camshaft wore a spot right there. And here's the camshaft. As you can see, there's a huge groove in there. So, let's get in the camshaft and a bunch of lifters. I'll also show you the timing setup on this. It's kind of hokey. I know there's been uh, issues with this in the past. Everything's kind of held together with a plastic timing chain tensioner. I mean, this is just 100% plastic. And there's a piston in there that comes out. This side, there's a guide on here. This is also plastic. Timing setup on these, there are two marks on top and then a corresponding uh, mark right here on the camshaft uh, pulley or camshaft gear. Oil pump is here on the car. I was worried I would have to drop the oil pan to get this apart, but luckily I didn't have to set the engine atop dead center. Push this arm backwards and I put a hex key in there to hold this back. Remove the timing chain tensioner and the guide. The oil pump down here, it's got the pickup that goes in the uh, pan and it's real tight there. So what you do is you pull out these four bolts on there. And this oil pump actually turns like this while in the car, and you can unbolt the pickup here and then just let it sit in the oil pan. So this comes off here, and you've got your lower gear here. There's also one mark down there at the bottom. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can light this up here. There mark on the bottom there and then a corresponding mark on the camshaft gear. So this is getting replaced. Uh, timing chain guide, camshaft, a bunch of lifters. And I actually left the engine in this car. The whole entire front end came off bumper assembly. It is a lot of work, but it's a lot easier than pulling the engine. The bumper cover comes off very easily. Uh, bumper bar, it is tack welded on there. After you take the four bolts off, you have to drill a top and a bottom one out. AC discharges, you have to discharge that. Pull the radiator out, it drops out the bottom with the condenser and the lines and such. Oil pump pickup. That's what I was talking about. It's kind of hard to get in there. Camshaft is out. Got both cylinder heads off. This valve cover over here, the passenger side is really a tight squeeze getting out. You have to really wiggle it past that harness in there. But so we'll see if I can get this engine up and running again. It's a very, very pricey engine. 
So I'll put a camshaft in there and see what happens. Feel free to comment on this 